Alright, so as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of new scroll stoppers inside our template library. And you can go through and browse through these done for you templates and fully customize them. Or you can go ahead and create one from scratch inside the editor as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go grab this one here and just use this template. Alright, so as you can see, we've got our template here. And what we can do is just double click on this over here and go into the actual template. And you have to see it's really easy. You can go through and quickly replace your background image by clicking on replace. And I'll just go grab this one here. I'll just make it, you know, a nice big size like that. And we can also go through and customize everything. So you can go through and replace your you know, profile picture. So I'm gonna go grab a different logo over here and just bring this up like that. And you can go through obviously and change the text. Let's call this one um, coffee lovers something like that and you can go through and just you know reposition it you can also adjust the likes you know change the text and what you could also do as well if you see this scroll stopper in the on the top just simply hide that so that you can see it while you're making your edits and that will really help you to you know customize this as you like and then once you've done that just simply add it back and you'll have to preview it like so Cool, so that's how you can uh, customize that. You can also click on this hide marked tracks to see every um, you know, layer over here. So let's say for example, you wanna you know, remove that heart uh, icon, just remove that one there and add this one back over like that. Um, and yeah, you can just customize it as you like, like so. And create your templates really quickly. So that's um, using the done for you templates. Now, if you wanna go through and create one from scratch, what you could do is just create a new uh, project and use Facebook and Instagram so that it's square. I might just go back to advanced settings and click on light, see it a bit better. And on the studio panel over here, if you click on scroll stoppers and click on the UI, and you'll be able to see we've got these done for you interfaces, okay? So let's go through and maybe I'll grab, maybe we'll grab this dark UI here and just drag and drop it onto the canvas over here and what I want to do is then go through and grab an effect so I'm just going to double click to go into this um, project here and if I go over to scroll stoppers go to effects and we've got to see we've got a whole bunch over here maybe I'll go grab the chameleon I'm just going to drag and drop this one like that maybe I'll add it to the top or bottom and resize it like so Cool. And then what I'm going to do is just go over to my media. You can import your own media, of course, or use our you know, media library here. So let's go and grab, uh, let's say, forest. And maybe I'll grab something like that. Yeah, and play around with this or this one here. So once you've got your image, you can just simply um, click on replace media this one here and click on replace and just grab your image like that that looks pretty cool 
and again you can go through and you know select the image if you want to change that profile picture um, oh this is one maybe I'll grab this one here and change that so this logo here adjust your business And yeah, just go ahead and fully customize it as you like. So you can also go through and you know if you wanted to remove one of these ones, just select that and hit delete. Just probably play this around, let's say. And yeah, you've got your scroll stopper done and ready to publish. So that's how to quickly and easily you know use the templates or go ahead and build your own ones um, in Create Studio.